Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to, well I already know what I'm doing, but I'm going to show you the next phase in me putting stuff out. And I'm sitting in my old office chair, so it makes all sorts of noise and shit. I apologize for that in advance. What I did was, last night, I put it all together and tried to work it out the best I could. But what we have here is, and I'll put it up on the screen here. Yeah, because this is really big. I don't know how I'm even going to take a screen shot of that. Fuck, maybe I should have done this in OBS. Okay, so basically, what we have here is, every week, I have ebook releases that we're gonna do. I'm getting low on quite a few of my chapbooks and already on top of that, some of my chapbooks like I don't have any more of. I did want to get in the Amazon game a little harder with my poetry. See if I can make something happen over there. Now, some of you might be saying, are you seriously gonna be putting out a ebook every week? on Amazon for like the next year? And the answer is yes. But here's the thing, I don't expect you guys to buy those. If you did, that's great if you wanna support me. But I'm trying to see what kinds of things you need to do to, I don't wanna say game the system on Amazon or game, game the algorithm, but there are certain things that if you do these things, your books show up more places. When I was doing my best on Amazon, it was when I was doing weekly serials. So with that said, I'm gonna try to bombard Amazon with as many things as possible. And I have enough chapbooks right now to go, I mean, shit, guys, let's look. Like, these are mine, you know? There's more coming, you know? So I have enough to flood a small portion of Amazon. Now, the other thing with this is, what I'm hoping to do is that I will be able to have paperback bind-up collections also available on Amazon for, like, print-on-demand and shit every month. That's the plan. Um, I was looking at how each title kind of is set up right now and that should be a thing like I should be able to pull that off and I didn't even realize how many collections I had that I wanted to put together I mean I still have the poetry is bullshit book I want to fucking get done I have a book about when I was out in the desert like collecting all those chat books plus extra stuff there's the um, crossroads book that I want to put together and then there's all the LA stuff that I want to put together as well plus short story collections and stuff like that and then one pretty epic book I've only been putting off because it's been too raw for me emotionally and I don't know if I want to release it as chat books first before putting the just giant book out because um, that's going to be a big one. There was one other one. Oh, and then like the type hard books, like putting those together. Just like little stuff like that. I know I talked about this on a stream, but I can't remember if it was a member's stream. I'm still going to be doing the chat books. That's kind of been like a staple, and so I'm not going to stop doing that. But I am going to, like I said before, put some chat books in the vault and every month only have certain ones available, okay? Right now, everything's still up there. I'm gonna be taking those down mainly. So the first, wait, is this it? Yeah. So the first ebook I'm gonna be putting out is um, Pharma Phoenix Rises because this has been out of print longer than anything. Well, longer than anything that's a modern chapbook for me. And there were 50 of these made, and this came out, I believe, in April or May, I can't remember, of 2021. So hopefully, I will try to have the ebook of this up tomorrow, okay? That's the plan right now. And then this one, Poems About the F, right there, 
this one is um, going to be going up too because I am out of copies of this. I am not out of the chapbooks of this, but I did not print the rest of the covers because I ran out of hairspray. And if you remember, I had to set the ink with hairspray when I was making them and I ran out. So I never finished um, printing out the covers. And I think, cause I think there's 60 of those. And so I have 20 left that I haven't made yet. But so there's 20 of those left. But the ebook of that is going to go up because that has been one that people want. It's requested more than anything. And since I haven't been able to make it for you guys, I figured I should just uh, do the ebook of it. And I realize it's probably still up on Etsy, which is why people are still asking me about it and me having to go, oh, I'm sorry, this isn't available right now. And then finally, the other ones that um, we're going to be putting out over the next couple weeks are um, for the Halloween season, 13 Miles South of Hell. This one I'm almost out of anyway. That one, I want to say it was 31 copies. This one will be out next week as an ebook, and I'll leave that one up on Etsy this month until those are gone. I don't remember how many of those I have left. It's under, it's it's definitely under 10. It might be under five now after that sale. I have to check. And then finally, Mart. But so those are the ones that are going to be available as eBooks. And I am churching the covers up a little bit. Not horribly. Like Pharma Phoenix Rises is going to look exactly the same. But, like, poems about fucking is going to be a little bit different looking, obviously, because I can't get a metallic JPEG. 13 Miles South of Hell is going to be a little bit different. Mart is a little bit different. Um, I think the colors work better on the ebook version. But anyway, so that is what's going on. Later this month, probably by the end of the week, I'll have uh, this month's Blood Rag out. And I will have my October chapbook, which again is going to be more weird poems. And it's going to be called Abnormal Brain. That is what's going on, guys. I know. I'm as shocked as you. Like, who would have thought that all of this stuff would be happening right now? Definitely not me. Definitely not me. Um, let me know if you have any questions about anything. And if there's any books that you want available as ebooks like as soon as possible or anything like that because a lot of the reasons of why I'm putting certain ebooks out is because I want there to be all of the ebook versions available for the bind ups that I'm doing for the paperbacks okay if that makes sense oh yeah and winner your mom's sodomy prize for poetry is going to be available as an ebook and as a Amazon paperback pretty soon. I don't think I can get that size, so the book's going to be a little bit different, and I'm really pissed off about that. And then the end of everything, boom, that is available as an ebook on Amazon right now, but I don't know if it's going to be in December or next year, I'm going to be doing a new paperback version of that through Amazon that has a uh, different stuff in it. There, there will be added materials in it. I hope you guys are kicking ass and taking names. Let me know what your plans are. Like if you have any ideas for what you want to do either for the rest of this year or into next year with your publishing, let me know what's happening. Okay guys. Type hard, join the Anarchy Crew, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.